Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. I wanted to talk a little bit today about laundry for our family. It's something that I do get asked about in person a lot. Um, people will say, oh, I can't imagine how much laundry you have or whatever. And I wanted to talk a little bit about our summer laundry routine. Um, it's a little bit different than the way that we do laundry in the winter time, but this is what has been working really well for us. Now, we are a family of 10, my husband and I, and eight kids. The oldest is 19 and he lives on our property. So he doesn't have his own laundry facilities and so we are doing his laundry as well. Um, but this summer, he and my 16 year old daughter are both away working at a summer camp all summer. And so we're only doing laundry this summer for eight people. And so I guess it depends on your perspective, whether that's a lot or a little or about what you've got. Um, but I have been able this summer for the first time in a while to keep up with laundry. And part of that, um, if you watched my garden tour, you know that we are in a drought. And while that's been awful in a lot of ways, it has allowed us to keep up with laundry. So in our house, our house is um, about 1,500 square feet, and we have one bathroom, and in the bathroom is our washing machine and our laundry hamper. So all of our laundry happens in that one bathroom for our entire family. So as people are changing, showering, using towels to dry dishes, all of those things, they are just putting all of it into one hamper and I am washing from that hamper. Um, the kids know how to wash laundry, but I just prefer to do it. I enjoy doing laundry, so um, I usually go in uh, first thing in the morning, as soon as I'm awake, whenever I go in to use the bathroom, brush my teeth, all of that, I put in the first load of laundry. Actually, I take out the load of laundry from the night before, put in the first load of laundry and let that run. Um, we have to be careful because we have uh, well, first of all, we have a well, which means that we have a pump, which means that we can't draw water in too many different locations at one time. It puts a lot of strain on the pump. We also have a whole house water filter, and the same thing, the water is trying to go through there, and you can't use water in really more than one location, but especially not more than two. So I might be able to flush the toilet while I'm washing laundry, but I need to wait till the toilet fills before I can brush my teeth. I can't be doing um, the dishes if the laundry is running. Nobody can shower while it's running, those kinds of things. So I do it first thing in the morning, pull out the one from the night before, put in a new load, let it sit until after breakfast or so, um, or really before breakfast, I'm switching it to load number two. So load number two usually goes in right around breakfast time. By the time that we're done with breakfast, then that load can come out and um, then the kids can wash the breakfast dishes. So I've got two loads ready to come out to the line, usually by 9, 9.30 in the morning. And I can hang them up. Each load of laundry from our washing machine takes one line. And you can see here we have three lines. So these two were out way before lunchtime, um, letting them dry now. I have a third load of laundry in the washing machine that I did um, before lunch so that it would be done and they could wash lunch dishes after lunch. So that is ready to come out here anytime. So usually those three loads are all I need to do in a day. Um, actually a lot of times we're doing two loads and then whenever we swim we hang all of our swim clothes and towels and everything out here because they don't get washed very often um, so that being said of course on Mondays whenever we've had a busy weekend and we're not here doing a lot of laundry on Sunday usually I get two loads in on Sunday sometimes not um, then usually I'm doing four loads on a Monday morning and trying to get them all hung out by around lunchtime so that they're dry for the evening. So I mentioned three of them, three, not two, three, go on these lines. Um, we also have another line on the other side of the house that'll hold one. So I can hang out four loads of laundry at any given time. It's been dry. They can dry in probably two to four hours. I'll have them dry. Now the thing that makes it really easy with line drying is I take my baskets, line them up usually on the ground right here, 
and I fold from the um, lines into the baskets. Now I don't sort a lot whenever I'm washing the laundry. It all pretty much just goes in together unless I have like sheets or someone's been sick or something like that. And then of course we run it on a hot load and I use OxyClean in those loads. Bleach does not work with our hard water. We have um, manganese in our water and so bleach makes things look even oranger <laughs> than they would ordinarily but OxyClean um, really has been the best thing if we have something that needs to get stains out and also the sun so sometimes I'll wash like all of the dish towels and stuff together but really nothing is sitting and it's easier to just toss it all in together then whenever it's time to take it off the line I'm folding things into it so I'll have one basket for towels and I'll fold all the big towels all the hand towels all those things individually stack them into that basket and then I have a basket for boys clothes and a basket for girls clothes my husband's is with the boys mine's with the girls um, and we're stacking by person so like in the girls basket I'll fold all of my laundry and put it in the bottom and then my 16 year olds and then my 11 year olds and then my nine year olds and then my eight year olds um, laundry and so whenever I take it in the house I set it out on our couch um, I'll have to show you at some point but I don't have any laundry that needs to put away right now um, but we do a kind of double rows across the couch youngest boy youngest girl next youngest boy next youngest girl the whole way across and just stack them on there and then if I'm doing more than one like I might take down laundry and hang up another round then I would bring the second round in and just stack them right on top and everybody puts away their own laundry into our family closet. My clothes are the only one that does not live in our family closet. Um, and that's just because there's not room. So they're in my bedroom. But everybody else's is in one central location. And they can put those things away. Um, so let's see. What else have I missed? You might wonder about bedding. So bedding just happens anytime I have an extra line. And then I just rotate through the oldest, the next oldest on down the line and keep rotating it um, and usually that gets everybody's laundry washed every week and a half two weeks something like that um, it could be better but it could be worse and so that is working okay for us for now when my oldest son is home a lot of times he'll just bring in a bunch of laundry all at once do his own one load hang it out um, so that is how we've been able to keep up with laundry. It really doesn't feel overwhelming. It doesn't feel like a lot of work. Um, I don't really know what it's like to do laundry for less people, but it seems, it seems doable to me. So um, that's what we've been doing this summer. Now come winter, of course, we're not going to be hanging four loads of laundry out. Um, we do have a big drying rack and we have a, well, two short clotheslines in our house to hang laundry on but we'll be using the dryer a lot more and actually I feel like we get way more behind on laundry when we're using the dryer and a big part of that is probably just because the dryer is in the garage and so going out in the cold and wet and all that and then it's not folded so I have to take the time to fold it instead of like folding it off the line like I would do here so I hope that answers some questions about how we're managing laundry how we manage to not let, ma let laundry pile up even though we have such a small house we like we couldn't let it pile up or it would be falling out of the bathroom so um, we have to keep on top of it and this is a way that we've been able to do it and do it easily without it feeling stressful so thank you so much for being here I will see you guys in the next video bye